So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Balas Szücs. Uh, I'm the chief architect of Hadenswatos, the ninth district of Budapest. Uh, we have uh, quite a long story of the urban renewal operations. Uh, we started in the 1990s. So already 30 years we are going on with our project. We are located in Hungary, in Europe, in Central Europe. Budapest 9 district is probably uh, has one of the longest uh, neighborhood front of the Danube. And our project covers more or less one third of the population of our district shown on this slide. This area stretches from the Danube until the Ullui Street, which is the main road to the airport in between uh, the Millennial uh, Ring Road and Hallerutza. 30 years ago, these were the conditions in Fedenswados. Our district was probably one of the most round down districts of the capital of Hungary. Uh, with also lack of education uh, at the people inhabiting it and almost no any investments during the communist regime. We had also a large brownfield area next to the Danube, a former railway station was located here and it was searching for new functions. The apartments uh, were much less uh, comfortable than the other apartments of Budapest. And, but it was also our advantage as a district to make uh, very uh, powerful changes as most of the apartments here on this area were in the propership of the local government, unlike other Budapest uh, districts, because there was much lower. So we could uh, make our projects much, much smoother without negotiating with the owners. There is also a slide about the education of the district. You can see in 2001, the university qualifications on the left were significantly less than the Budapest average qualifications. It means it was 17% in the education. So that was the beginning of our step-by-step -step development of the district. The nine district uh, had the development plan based on three pillars, the urban block regeneration, the intervention at city section level, and the third pillar isolated interventions. The urban block regeneration was the main idea of the master plan. That meant that unlike the traditional blocks of Budapest with very narrow small courtyards, like you can see on the top of the block, the municipality decided to open up the courtyards inside by demolishing the background uh, wings of the older buildings and creating green lush gardens inside the blocks. The proposal was to rise the level of the green area from that time existing 7.5% to seven times more, 35%. Now we are somewhere in the middle, but already a much larger area than it was before. And Budapest in the 9th district we have the largest green area right now in the inner city uh, districts. This is how you can see these lush gardens inside uh, the blocks. There was no possibility to make, create large gardens. Uh, we are we're connecting at least two houses and creating one common garden with some relaxing corners. But also, the master plan contained very ambitious uh, elements like demolishing complete blocks and uh, creating on the place big parks, which means that the neighborhood uh, nine blocks around 
they had a much higher value than before. And as, as I mentioned in the beginning of my proposal, almost everything was in the hands of the ownership of the local government. Later by uh, selling these lots after demolishing the smaller houses, we could sell them on much higher price. This is an example of Kedekerdő Park, where before was completely dense with low rise buildings. And now we have higher riser, but modern buildings around it. The other element of our project was that we kept more or less the same numbers of uh, blocks uh, renovating. Despite the global crisis, even in the years, we could continue to renew uh, the same numbers of uh, houses, which means an average scale yearly from three to six buildings per year. By demolishing the smaller houses, but keeping the old houses uh, on its uh, place and creating a new facade, in between uh, the modern buildings had to respect the same architectural idea than the old buildings. It means similar material usage and also the height of the buildings should be uh, not higher than one meter of the old buildings. On the public spaces, we were eliminating the parking spaces or at least most of them and creating large uh, <clears throat> garages under the block uh, parks. And on the streets with this idea, we could free up uh, spaces to uh, implement uh, new trees and greenery and also make nice terraces for the cafes. Also it was very important to keep the value of the old buildings uh, and also the traditions of the culture, what was very represented in the nine district as Attila Jozsef, one of our Hungarian famous uh, poet was born one of these tiny houses and uh, the municipality created a 21st century level exhibition on his memory. You could ask what happened with all these inhabitants who were living in the uh, demolished houses. Well, those buildings uh, which we kept and uh, we were renewing, we created new attics on the top, maybe sometimes even with the uh, new uh, floors. So we were extending the numbers of the apartments in the uh, houses, but keeping more or less the same number of apartments in one block. So we could offer our inhabitants to move inside Pelenc uh, to to renewal area. Also one of the examples, how we kept uh, the traditions and we had a lot of decoration in our uh, older buildings. The second pillar was the intervention on a city section uh, level. The former railway station, what, which was next to the Danube River, was uh, turned also by a very ambitious master plan to a new cultural and office uh, building uh, area but at it was that time very uh, out uh, from the city center we had to attract some magnet projects like the two cultural investments of the state first of all on the left you can see the national theater and on the right the palace of arts the mupa of budapest and after those two big scale buildings were completed also the rest of the investors who were much more uh, like liking to come to our uh, area. The municipality uh, invested a lot in our district, but as a third pillar, the isolated interventions were already all private projects. I can say that uh, more or less uh, one euro of public uh, Investment attracted nine other euros from the public sector, like these uh, shopping center 
They were former barracks of uh, Empress, Empress Maria Theresia, and it became a protected uh, building, but also not just the local government, but also investors uh, were uh, building new apartment uh, buildings like here, also respecting uh, the existing architecture of old uh, factories, for example, in the neighborhood. But also we could rescue some uh, very nice uh, old uh, factory buildings and uh, turning them into flat uh, loft uh, apartments like this build beer store uh, in the middle of our uh, green uh, blocks. The big companies who uh, you could see in the previous uh, pillar at the city scale invention who were building the big office buildings. Uh, they also gave something back uh, for the society and, uh, for example, uh, the big telecom uh, company of Hungary was building a, a concert uh, center in the middle of the rehabilitation works. And also the big universities uh, settled down in Ferencvárosh, uh, like probably the well-known Semmelweis University of the medical sciences uh, created the new uh, wings of the university inside of our project. But maybe as a crowning of this step-by-step uh, -step, uh, development to repeating that they were uh, creating a much higher comfort uh, of apartments at the municipality level, then the private uh, sector created new apartments on a much larger uh, scale, and it attracted the new quality of life, the new office buildings to live uh, very near. Actually, we are now planning to be the uh, next step, a uh, carless uh, district from uh, 2025, uh, uh, and also, uh, the universities helped us to also uh, create the, maybe the highest level. The Hungarian Academy of Sciences also moved to our district as a result. Uh, to show us, uh, to show you everything on these tables, uh, the local government uh, was uh, renovating uh, nearly uh, 1,000 uh, apartments in this area. And meanwhile, the private sector was creating uh, about 7,000 apartments. So it means uh, the, the scale is much uh, different for the uh, private sector areas. To show you the green areas of uh, the project, we created in total almost 50,000. Uh, square meters of lush gardens in the blocks, but also in the public parks, an additional 28,000 uh, square meters. And I have to repeat, uh, it, it was the only uh, such a big uh, scale uh, in uh, the inner side of uh, Budapest. These are also the numbers of how many streets we were renovating with uh, new uh, lightings and of course with uh, trees on the street uh, that covered uh, 35,000 uh, square meters. Also the quality of the apartments uh, significantly uh, uh, rised and now uh, the education level of the district uh, comparing to the 2001 level where we were less uh, uh, degrees uh, comparing to Budapest. Now the ninth district has significantly higher education level, especially in field of university qualification than the average uh, Budapest uh, people. These numbers uh, are not so fresh. Uh, they are from the last census from 2011, and uh, the new census is following uh, this year in 2028. We are very uh, looking forward how it will work in this uh, tragic pandemia uh, level. And all this result uh, gave us the opportunity uh, not just to win uh, FIAPSI 
for the master plan in the first part of this project, but also a few years ago uh, for uh, the result of this uh, nice uh, project. And I have to mention that many other private investors also uh, had the opportunity to win this nice prize. Thank you.